I'm sorry, Will. <laughs> you know what? Actually, this works out better for me. You know, the Slimmies of Summer come to class wearing next to nothing. You know what I'm Will, saying? Will, it's all right to be angry. Hey, well, why should I be mad? I'm saying, at least he said goodbye this time. I just wish I hadn't wasted my money buying this stupid present. I I'm sorry. I, you know, if there was something that I hey, could Hey, you know do. what? You ain't got to do no, nothing, Uncle Phil. Hey, you know, ain't like I'm still five years old, you know? Ain't like I'm going to be sitting up every night asking my mom, when's daddy coming home, you know? Who needs him? Hey, he wasn't there to teach me how to shoot my first basket, but I learned, didn't I? Hey, I got pretty damn good at it, too, didn't I, yeah, Uncle Phil? Got through my first date without him, right? Mm. I learned how to drive. I learned how to shave. I learned how to fight without him. I had 14 great birthdays without him. He never even sent me a damn card. To hell with him! I ain't need him then, and I don't need him now. Will. Will. Now, you know what, Uncle Phil? I'm going to get through college without him. I'm going to get a great job without him. I'm going to marry me a beautiful honey, and I'm going to have me a whole bunch of kids. I'm going to be a better father than he ever was. And I sure as hell don't need him for that, because ain't a damn thing he could ever teach me about how to love my kids. How come he don't want me, man? Mm. That scene always makes me emotional. Before I start this video, I just want to say shout out to all the Uncle Phil's out there in the world. All the Uncle Phil uncles, all the Uncle Phil father figures, all the Uncle Phil dads. Because you are needed in this world. You are appreciated in this world that does not love people. Don't ask questions usually. Got the answers that I need. Intuition telling me mm -hmm. I just have a good feeling What's up y'all? It's me, Angie B, back again with another video. The title of this video is going to be called Father's Day Blues. Now, my purpose is not to put a negative vibe or negative energy out about Father's Day, but it's for me to tell how I've personally overcome this holiday that has been kind of sad for me growing up. But I would first like to start out by saying Happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there, all of the father figures. You know, keep being positive impacts in your children's lives and doing all that you can in your power. Well, let's get started. Um, I'm gonna be completely transparent. Why not? It's my page, Freedom of Speech. Um, my dad is not present in my life like that at all. So Father's Day has always been a holiday that I kind of like dread, but I was never one to um, post things on social media regarding my sadness about the holiday. Like you just see other kids with their dads posting them and all the you know, memories, and it's like, dang, why me? What did I do wrong? But I didn't do anything wrong. Um, I am fortunate enough to have great father figures in my life, and I'll forever be grateful for them. But, you know, to personally not have your dad in your life is like, dang. I've personally grown a lot as an individual through my many years of sad father's days i guess you can say um my granddaddy was my father until he passed away my uncle has really stepped up big for me and my brother so i'm grateful for them but um there were father's days that i would just not want to be bothered i would not go on social media because things trigger me so like i would really get irritated when people would say don't post your mom because it's Father's Day. Things of that nature, like, ugh, when people go on rant. It's Father's Day, not Mother's Day because your dad is not in your life. See, see, people who comment like that are probably fortunate enough to have uh, their dad present in their life and doing things for them of that nature. And they cannot or do not put themselves in the people whose fathers are not there. Put themselves in those people's shoes. So that's where my issue comes because you have to allow people to cope in ways that they can. Everybody's not as fortunate as you. But if that's how people want to cope 
through that holiday by posting their mom because their mom did a lot. Of, I was never one to do that because I am gonna let the fathers have their holiday. But if that's how people wanna cope, let them. My coping mechanism is to barely be on social media that day. It just makes me sad and feel like, I don't know, makes me feel like I'm not normal. It just makes me see that I'm more of a stereotype. I don't know what to say, y'all. But it just makes me sad seeing how other people have great relationships with their dad. And I never really had one. So, yeah. I never was one to talk about my issues either because I feel like multiple people go through this. So, you know, it's not even that serious. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, that did kind of get dark. But it's time to get to the ant word of the day. The ant word of the day is, if your dad is in your life, um, cherish them. Because you could be in someone else's shoes like me. Um, and if your dad isn't in your life, it's okay. Find that father figure. Hopefully you already have father figures in your life. And just be grateful for them because they really don't have to do that for you. Um, never take anything for granted. And for the ones that dads are in their life and you feel like they might not be doing enough, well, at least they're making an attempt. Because you could all, it could always be worse. Just, you always got to remember that no one is perfect. And I do feel like Father's Day is not celebrated as greatly as Mother's Day. But... You know, I'm just speaking from what I see through my eyes. But it's like more common for a father to not be in a child's life than it is for a mother, it seems like. So, you know, it's unfortunate that I'm one of those kids that don't have a relationship with their dad like that. But I'm not gonna, I don't want nobody to feel sorry for me because I'm doing what I gotta do out here to be successful. Do what you need to do and win! I'm going to do everything in my power to ensure that when I have kids that they don't have to feel this feeling. Also, another thing I can say, um, despite me not having a father, my family at large did their thing with putting their hand in to help raise me. Shout out to my village. Forever be grateful for y'all. Y'all really held me down growing up as a child. Um, and still now, um, forever grateful. I never went without. Love y'all forever. Well, it has been another video of Angie B TV. And despite the fact that my dad's not in my life, it is not going to stop my blessings. And I'm going to glow regardless. And I hope you too will glow after watching this show and you see how someone without a father figure feels on the subject of Father's Day. But before this video is over, I must ask you guys to like down below, subscribe down below. Turn on your notifications bar. And yeah, y'all have a blessed one. Wear your mask, it's still quarantine. Have fun, enjoy Father's Day with your fathers, and I love y'all. Bye.